Southern Italy, scientists are sounding the alarm. A massive fault system, buried for thousands of years, has just been uncovered beneath one of the most dangerous volcanoes on the planet, Campi Flegre. And now, new data shows that this fault is active. The discovery comes as the region experiences a surge in seismic activity, with more than 50,000 earthquakes recorded between 2022 and 2025. Experts are calling it one of the most important geological findings in decades, and it's revealing that this ancient supervolcano may be entering a new and unpredictable phase. Just west of Naples lies the Campi Flegre Caldera, an enormous volcanic field that stretches across 12 kilometers of land and sea. It doesn't rise like a mountain, instead it sinks. The ground here collapsed thousands of years ago after one of the largest volcanic eruptions in human prehistory. Today, half a million people live on top of this enormous volcanic depression. For centuries, it's been mostly quiet, but now the signs of awakening are impossible to ignore. In the past few months, residents in Pozzuoli and the surrounding areas have reported daily tremors, rattling windows, and cracks forming in roads and buildings. Local authorities have raised the alert level as scientists race to understand what's happening beneath their feet. At first, the quakes seemed random, but when researchers plotted every recorded event on a 3D map, a shocking pattern appeared. The earthquakes weren't scattered, they formed a perfect circular shape beneath the caldera. This wasn't coincidence. What scientists were seeing was the outline of a hidden ring fault, an ancient fracture zone that had remained unseen until now. A ring fault isn't an ordinary crack, it's the circular boundary that forms when a massive eruption causes the ground to collapse in on itself. It's the scar of an ancient super eruption, and at Campi Flegre, it marks the edge of the volcanic system's most unstable zone. The new research suggests this buried fault is once again reactivating, shifting and slipping under immense pressure. Over the past year, seismic instruments have recorded a clear change in the behavior of the ground. The frequency and depth of the earthquakes are increasing. Some quakes are now occurring just 2-3 to three kilometers below the surface, closer than ever before. At the same time, ground deformation data shows steady uplift. The land has risen by several centimeters in just months. It's as if the earth itself is inflating beneath Naples. This uplift isn't new. The area has been rising and falling in pulses for decades, but the current rate combined with the earthquake pattern suggests that stress is now concentrating along the newly identified ring fault. And that's what has scientists deeply concerned. One volcanologist described it as a system under increasing pressure, showing signs of structural failure. In other words, the crust beneath Campi Flegre is weakening. Rocks that once held firm are now brittle, fractured, and primed to slip. That doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent, but it does mean the region has entered a critical stage. Even without an eruption, the ongoing deformation could cause serious damage to infrastructure, roads, and buildings. Authorities are closely monitoring gas emissions, seismic swarms, and thermal changes, any signs that magma could be moving closer to the surface. The Campi Flegre system is unlike any ordinary volcano. It's not a single vent, but a complex network of fractures, magma pockets, and steam vents spread across a wide area. When pressure builds in one part of the system, it can ship stress across the entire structure. That's exactly what appears to be happening now. The newly mapped ring fault is acting like a boundary, and as the ground swells, it's starting to move again. Each small earthquake marks another moment of adjustment, another crack reopening after thousands of years of silence. Scientists believe this reactivation could be the reason behind the recent earthquake clusters. The entire caldera is flexing, a sign of deep underground unrest. Recent satellite data confirms it, the ground deforming in a circular pattern matching the fault's location. When viewed from above, the uplift forms a distinct ring, a near-perfect mirror of the ancient caldera collapse, this discovery not only explains decades of mysterious seismic activity, but also links modern quakes directly to ancient structures formed during the last major eruption, 
nearly 39,000 years ago, one of the largest in European history, that eruption released enough ash and gas to blanket much of the continent and alter global climate for years. Since then, Campi Flagre has erupted dozens of times, the most recent in 1538, when a new cone, Monte Novo, rose from the ground in just a few days. Now, 487 years later, the land around that same area is shifting once again. In September, residents of Pozzuoli described hearing a low, rumbling noise before a series of sharp tremors shook the town. Walls cracked, shop windows rattled, and emergency teams moved in to assess structural damage. These quakes were small, but the pattern matters more than the magnitude. The tremors are migrating outward, aligning with the outer ring of the caldera, the same ring now believed to be slipping. For geologists, this movement is an unmistakable warning. The crust is responding to stress along the fault zone. Local monitoring networks, including Italy's INGV Observatory, have increased surveillance across the area. Thermal cameras are watching fumaroles and gas vents for signs of change. Satellite radar is measuring every millimeter of ground uplift. And beneath all that data, a story is forming, one of a supervolcano that's reawakening in slow motion. The good news is that scientists are not seeing clear signs of magma rising toward the surface. The bad news, the rock above that magma chamber is becoming increasingly fragile. It's like a pressure cooker whose lid has started to crack. The system may not explode, but it's becoming easier to break. What makes this discovery so critical is that it explains why Campi Flegre has behaved so unpredictably for decades. For years, scientists debated whether the ground uplift was due to gas accumulation, magma intrusion, or hydrothermal expansion. Now, with the identification of the ring fault, it appears all three processes are interacting along a single structural weakness. That means the system could react suddenly to even minor changes in pressure. And in a densely populated area like Naples, even a moderate event, not necessarily an eruption, could have serious consequences. Officials are already preparing emergency plans in case the activity continues to escalate. In recent briefings, Italy's Civil Protection Department warned that residents must stay alert for updates as seismicity remains unusually high. Several towns around the caldera have been inspected for potential ground instability, with authorities noting that older structures are especially vulnerable to further uplift or shaking. For now, evacuation is not being considered, but scientists agree that continued monitoring is vital. So what happens next? If the current pattern continues, the uplift and seismic swarms could persist for months or even years without leading to a major eruption. However, if stress continues to localize along the ring fault, new fractures could open, allowing magma or gases to migrate upward. That's why the recent data is both alarming and valuable. It gives scientists a real-time view of how a caldera evolves when pushed to its limits. This isn't just an Italian story. What's unfolding beneath Campi Flegre could help scientists worldwide understand how supervolcanoes awaken, how they fracture, and how to recognize the early signs of their reactivation. Right now, beneath the quiet streets of Naples, the Earth is shifting, slowly, silently, but undeniably. 50,000 quakes have already shaken the region. The ground continues to rise. And now the fault that once marked one of the largest eruptions in human history has begun to move again. No one knows how far this will go, but one thing is clear. The hidden fault beneath Italy's supervolcano is awake, and the world is watching.